to win this Jesus puzzle right here, which is kind of uh, ironic that you're answering a science question to win this are Jesus. Are you like looking for like a chemical name or like? Well, I'm it's a multiple choice question. Don't worry. I'm oh, gonna okay. give you. I'm gonna Good. give you multiple choices, oh. and you pick the one that you know to be correct. All right. Do so, you like wink when you say the right one or something? Uh, well, I've, you just you just tell. I, there are A, B, C, D, and you just tell me which one you think is correct. Most noxious odor in the world, scientifically determined. Is it A, the skunk, B, burning sulfur, C, chlamydium dentura, D, olive skin saline concentrate? Uh, for, me and my friends want to go with burning sulfur. Burning sulfur. That is a very good guess. Unfortunately, it's actually the olive skin saline, which is a surprise to me as well. I don't even know what that yeah. is, but... That is the scientifically, uh, yeah, it's positively determined to be the scientifically worst, worst, most noxious odor in the whole world. Thank you so much for playing, though. Oh, all right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're quite, you're quite welcome. That was fun for everybody. Um, and especially for him, I think he almost enjoyed it more because of he lo he lost. It's like, he reached for the brass ring, he didn't get it, but that means there's still hope. That means there's still something for him to look forward to in the future. Uh, I'm not going to read this trivia question anymore, naturally, because it's all used up. This, this one is ruined. But I still have two trivia questions left if anybody wants to try to win that Jesus puzzle that we're just doing our darndest to get rid of here tonight. Hmm. You don't have much time. You've got less than 10 minutes. If you want... I don't know if you, if you can see the, the craftsmanship on this thing, but it's really quite detailed. There's a, there's a little child here who's got some kind of a head wrap. And then there's a baby here sitting on Jesus' lap. Then right here is another child who appears to be missing a head. And that's part of the whole puzzle. That's where the fun comes in. You have to figure out, how does it go back together? What's it supposed to look like when it's done? Caller, go ahead. Hey, uh, I want to puzzle. Good, good, good. Uh, we have two questions left. Uh, Okay, I'll tell you what. Let, let me let me make this. It's caller's caller's choice. Do you want the religious one or the non-religious question? Uh, let's go with the religious one. Very good. Okay, let me grab that. That unfortunately is the one that Jake spilled milk all over. But let me pick it up. Okay. What what religion is this question for? <sighs> yuck! 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 It is a. Uh, apparently, it is Catholicism. Right. Uh, I don't know anything about Catholicism myself, but... Yeah, well, we'll see if I know something about it. All right. According to the Catholic Church, how many bonobos can dance on the head of a pincushion at one time? A. Six bonobos. B. Twenty-seven bonobos. C. One bonobo. D. None bonobos can't dance. E. All bonobos. Um, oh, it's kind of up there in the background, actually. It's those, those apes. <laughs> yeah. It's... I'm going to go with uh, none of those can dance on a pin needle. No bonobos. Bonobo, Zero bonobos. bonobos. Um, she can probably dance on this. You're correct. You're, you're correct. Um, I don't, personally, I don't know if I agree with this, because I would imagine, I don't know, they're pretty, they're pretty closely related to humans and whatever, the rest of the great apes. I would imagine bonobos can dance, but yeah, you're, you're correct. The Catholic Church has declared that zero bonobos can dance on the head of a pin cushion at one time. So, you have won this amazing Jesus sculpture puzzle statue, which will be here. Same as last week, I'll put this on the shelf. I'll keep it on reserve for you. Keep it on the shelf for one week. Uh oh, another piece just fell out. That's going to be really fun for you to figure out how to put this back together. I'll put this on the shelf and I'll put a little note on it that says reserved for 
prize winner. You come down to PATV Studios and pick it up anytime in the next week, and it'll be here. Thank you so much for calling and for winning. Left him speechless, but I know he's going to be here to get this. Not like last week. Not like the winner we had last week. She never came to pick up hers, and she sounded so sure. She sounded so confident that she was going to come and pick up her book. She didn't. I hope you come pick up your Jesus um, puzzle before any more pieces fall off and it gets even harder to solve. Well, this has been a really good episode of the Judy Show. Um, it was really nice to have my friends back with me. It boosted my morale a lot. I'm feeling really good about myself. I'm feeling really good about my friendships in the world. Ah! If you're happy and you know it, stomp and clap. If you're happy and you know it, jump and shout. If you're happy and you know it and you really would like to express that. If you are happy and you know it, twist and scream. Pinch your face. Claw your cheeks, tear your eyes, rip your hair, make you bleed, make you scream. If you're happy and you know it, make you bleed. Ah, it hurts so much to be so happy. I want to pry every tooth out one at a time with a rusty screwdriver and I want to shove each tooth into my eye socket. I am so happy right now. So gosh damn happy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. All right. <sighs> Beef tomato. It's perfect for cats to look at but not eat. It will kill them. They will die. Don't ever feed that to your cats. Svetlana sucks lemons across from me And I am progressing abominably And I do not know my own way to the sea But the saltiest sea knows its own way to me And the city that turns, turns, protracted and slow And I find myself towing them back a dead row And I find myself knowing the things that I knew Which is all that you can know on this side of the blue Has eyes black and shiny like boots, and they march at you two by two, Relu, Relu. When she looks at you, you know she's nowhere near through. It's the kindest heart beating this side of the blue. Signified buttheads with the signifiers And we all fall down slack-jawed to marvel at words 
While across the sky shoot the impossible